I have never met anybody excited to walk into a room that looks like this. But if you're, if you normally follow your appointments, you come to one of these twice a year. But today what we are going to talk about is that device right there on the wall. This thing right here. What we're looking at here is an x-ray shooter. This device here, very common, it's wrapped up for, uh, for protections from germs and from spit and stuff, from people sneezing. But this device, its job is to shoot a ray of x-ray into your mouth or into your face, wherever they aim it. Let's say that head post there is your face. They'll normally adjust it really close and bam, shoot you for a, uh, like a half second for the film to uh, take the exposure. Then they have to develop the film. Now with digital x-ray, all that has changed where it's a much quicker shot and it's way safer. I'll explain in a second. What we're looking at here is at a developed old style um, x-ray. As you can tell, it's normally a little piece of uh, cube that they jam in your mouth and then they shoot you with the x-ray. Now, it takes a lot of work to do one of these. You pretty much have to be a photograph developer. I'll show you the machine right now. This in here is a service room for the small dentist office. As you can tell, like this box here is a developer. You would pop the film in here, in the dark, take it out so it doesn't get exposed to light, and this machine would actually pass it through the chemicals and it comes out. It's a real long process. It requires a lot of chemicals, a lot of process, and yes, this room does act also as a dark room. You've seen these in the movies where the red light actually doesn't affect the film. You lock yourself in here, the red light doesn't really mess with the film. You develop it, takes a little while, and you got your picture. What we're talking about today is the digital x-ray system. Today I'll show you the EVA. The EVA is uh, it's a pretty popular system made in America where instead of those films being jammed in your mouth, what they do is they put this device. It is portable because it is still kind of expensive. It's pretty modern. It's been around for about a decade, but with all medical equipment, it always starts really expensive. You could just move it from room to room. But you put it onto the computer, and you wrap this up, and you put it in your mouth as if this was the film. It's a really small device. It doesn't seem like it does anything special, but there's actually here there's a grid like a CCD grid just like this video camera has and it's sensitive to the actual radiation rays the advantage of a system like this is you don't have to keep shooting yourself with the x-rays plus it's incredibly fast incredibly sensitive so rarely can, will it make a mistake as long as everything is running correctly and it's digital no developing and if they have to go out and make braces for you or a cast molding, they actually have it digitized and they can send it to another provider and build the thing. Plus, once it wears out because of cable, people tend to chew on it. They just have to replace this piece. Um, but it is very durable. And I'll show you some examples in a second on the computer how it looks. This here is my record, so no one else is affected and stuff. I did get permission and it is my record here. As you can tell, I have wonderful teeth. The digitizing of dentist's office has been a wonderful advancement. Um, here's a look to my teeth. As you can see, I have one uh, that has been extracted. They actually still have the x-ray records of it in their system even though it was years ago. So we're going to go check that. We're going to go check out that tooth and talk about more about the digital x-ray. Now here's the digital x-ray systems database. Not only does it take records of the x-ray, but it will also allow other pictures to be sent to the client. So you can tell I have a lot of things covered just for privacy purposes, other than my name, but that everyone knows that. Now here, we can see this was in 2009. You actually see the tooth. This is the digital x-ray. The tooth is snapped. What's nice is there's only a limited amount of uh, times you can be hit with an x-ray before it becomes very dangerous. 
you don't want to keep getting hit by x-rays. With this record, this is a few years old and they still have it. My teeth haven't had any major changes and this can be moved on to others, but that was an extraction that was done. As you can see here, there's actually a little cube here you can't see. That's just so you know the positioning of the actual x-ray because it could be put in the mouth upside down. And over here we'll, we have a different angle where you actually, you can see it over here. We're going to do a demonstration. I'm going to do an x-ray of my finger. Uh, it's not recommended, it's just for purpose of the video. But so you can see how clear it is and no developing, no chemicals required. It goes to the server. It's really fast. Now, of course, here's my record. Eh, you don't want to see that, but that's actually the cracked tooth on my gum. What I'm doing now is only a demonstration. I do not recommend anybody do this. This is, I am being supervised. I am taking the risk. It's, it's real quick. It won't be dangerous. Here's the reader. All right, everything is sanitized. What I'm going to do is we're going to put the reader under the shooter. And uh, let's aim it as straight as possible because I don't want to do this twice. And here's my hand. And we're going to simply take a nice shot of that thing and uh, show you how the results. I will be shutting the camera off for the shot and I will put some protection over within a second for this. Um, we got um, our x-ray of my finger. There it is. No, uh, no chemicals. We, had, we didn't have to go through a developer. Once the system was set, it was actually 0.1 second shot of very small x-ray. And there, of course, is my knuckle. If we flip it, there it is. It's a good looking bone. And all the records are stored in the server and the machine securely. And uh, that's all done digitally now with uh, this system. It was actually my other finger, but this is uh, the device. There are other models, there's bigger ones, there's multiple other companies. This is the one that this office uses and they were kind enough to let me demonstrate it and they're real good people down in South Florida. Thank you for watching. Enjoy my knuckle and that's how the digital x-ray systems uh, operate.